square of area 9 square inches as both sides increasing simultaneously at a rate of 1 inch per second each. So both sides, right? This one is increasing and so is this one. At what rate, the question is at what rate is the area of the square changing? At the moment when the sides measure 5 inches each. Okay, so we, we have um, a few crucial pieces of information right here. At the moment that the square is just measuring 9 square inches, of course, that each side is just going <coughs> to sorry, each side is just going to measure 3 inches. So 3 inches each. And I'm going to call each side just x. And of course, why is it 3 and 3? Because the square root of 9 is 3. So each side just measures x and the area of a square is just x squared. Now, okay, but we want to know what is the rate in which the area is changing so dA dt is what we're interested in. The rate of change of the area with respect to time. That is the big question mark. At the moment when each side measures 5 inches each. So when x is equal to 5. And what is dx dt? What is the rate of change of each side with respect to time? I mentioned it before. It's just uh, 1 inch per second. So 1 inch per second. That is how fast the sides are increasing. And they're increasing simultaneously. OK, so let's use this equation right now. Let's differentiate it with respect to time. OK, so what is the derivative of a with respect to time? Of course, we're going to have to use implicit differentiation. And we're going to have the derivative with respect to a of a times dA dt, which is eventually what we want to know. Or in other words, the rate of change of the area with respect to time. And on the other side of the, e the equal sign, the other side of the equation, we have the derivative of x squared with respect to time, which would be the derivative with respect to x of x squared times dx dt, or the rate of change of x with respect to time. So OK, without further, further ado, let's continue. The derivative of a with respect to a is just 1. So we can just not write anything here, because 1 times anything is just anything. So we just have dA dt, which is actually what we are ultimately interested in. Now, the derivative of x squared with respect to x is just 2x, of course, according to the power rule. We just bring down the exponent. And dx dt, we already knew that that's just equal to 1, because that's how fast the sides are, are uh, increasing, 1 inch per second. So dA dt is going to be equal to 2 times x. And we're going to have 5 as x, because that is the moment that we're interested in. In the moment that the sides measure 5 inches each, what is the rate of change of the area? So dA dt is going to be just 2 times 5 times 1, which is equal to 10. Therefore, the area is increasing at a rate of 10 square inches per second. That's it.